My name is Jennifer Christie, and my poster represents work that I did with my colleagues at Mount Sinai in New York. We are studying the social demographic correlates to the stage of adoption for colon cancer screening. Colon cancer screening is, is underutilized in the general population, but particularly amongst African Americans and other ethnic minorities. So what we were looking to do is figure out, are there any social demographic correlates to stage of adoption that we could identify and perhaps target screening interventions based on social demographic populations? What we did is we recruited patients coming for a non-acute primary care visit and we asked them to participate in a series of interviews assessing their stage of adoption for colon cancer screening, various social demographic variables, as well as whether they've ever heard of a colonoscopy, do they have a primary care doctor, has someone recommended a colonoscopy to them. And based on the questionnaire, we were able to separate our patients into two categories. The pre-contemplative stage, which means that they had not heard of a colonoscopy, had uh, no plans to undergo one. And then we have the contemplative or patients who are in the preparation stage, which means that they were, they've heard of it, they were thinking about it, and or they're actually going to be scheduled to have it done. And we compared various social demographics such as uh, age, gender, income, marital status, and looked at if there's any differences between these two groups. And this is all in African American patients. And basically because this was a pretty homogeneous group, we didn't find any social demographic uh, factors that really determine whether someone was in a pre-contemplative stage or a preparation stage. But what we did find was that patients who were at least close to either scheduling the procedure or actually having it done had, number one, a primary care doctor that they see on a regular basis. They, had, uh, they were more likely to actually have been recommended for screening and also they had heard of colonoscopy compared to the pre-contemplative stage, stage uh, who may not have had a regular doctor. So this just confirms the, the findings that having a regular primary care physician and of course having a physician recommendation for colonoscopy was the key most important factor in determining whether someone would actually undergo a screening colonoscopy.